Thanks very much, Paul. Welcome back to another hour of the Larry King Show. Our guest in hour number one was Oral Hirschheiser of the Los Angeles Dodgers. In a moment, we'll meet an old friend and a show business legend, Milton Berle. Three videos have just been released in a collection. Milton Berle, the second time around, featuring uh, Milton Berle with Carnival of Comedy, the funny 50s and legends. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, tomorrow night, our guest will be Saul Linowitz, former ambassador to the Organization of American States. He... Uh, was responsible for the Panama Canal Treaty and lots of problems down there. If you want to talk to Uncle Milton, you want to get in early, 703-685-2177. There he is, the picture of health. They Thank feel you it. very much, Larry. Smoking a cigar. Why not? Why smoke, Uncle Milty? Milty, uh-huh, you've had uh-huh. bypass surgery. You're just like you're just like the people that I know. You when you convert because you had your open heart surgery, somebody told you to stop smoking cigarettes. Cigarettes are no good for you. But, They're right. But cigars are okay. Well, I don't you inhale don't cigars. Hey, I'm not going to argue with you, Milton. I'm, I'm going to tell you why you, you should beat the argue. game a long time. What do you mean by that? How old are you, Milton? Old. None of your okay. business. Okay, well, you look terrific. You're speaking to the real king now. I know. The uh, <laughs> No, I uh, I feel great. I uh, had a birthday last July 12th. I was... Mm-hmm. No, I was 80. I was 80. I'm going to be 81. And uh, let's get back to the cigars for a minute. Okay. George right. Burns, bless him, is 93. And you, you don't know this. I don't think that the listeners know it. 93 years old, picture of health, small... <laughs> Smokes 20 cigars a day. Has four martinis and two brandies. You're going to fight that, no, Mr. How do you King? explain it? You explain it because you don't inhale cigars. That's like the old Smith and, uh, uh, Smith and uh, Dale joke. I'd like to see you inhale. He said, I'd like to see you inhale. Uh, <laughs> remember that, that, that act? But uh, he takes good care of himself. He gets rest. And, uh, and you take I've been, care. I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Been smoking cigars ever since I was thirteen. So that's uh, how many years ago? I don't know. A lot of years. Sixty-eight. Tell me about this this carnival this second time around. Well, um, it's a uh, a new video I made. Be be well, not being that VCRs are so popular now because next year they'll be double. There'll be millions and millions and millions. But once you're holding in your hand this packet of three one-hour home videos. Uh, put out, by the way, by Kodak, the uh, distributing. I, uh, I've had this, these films, uh, now films, there were kinescopes of the Texaco Star Theater, and these are 40 years old, and they have never been rerun. They've been in my archives for 40 years. We're the men of Texaco, we work from from Mexico, there's nothing like all of that is on this. How do you remember that? Because I watched. You, you, how old were you, 12? Kid, I loved it. You did? Well, so how yes. Many, how many Burl shows are on these three? Oh, my God. It's the best of the Texaco shows. And that's not that's only the beginning because I have in my possession, and I don't know, I shouldn't ham this up, but I, I own 156 hours. And in those days, in the late 40s and the 50s, we did 39 shows a year. And... Uh, after the show, the kinescope was taken out. Those that are listening in do not know, and you're staring at me, what, <laughs> what is a kinescope? A kinescope was a camera that they used in front of a monitor of a television screen and took a picture of a picture. And it didn't turn out so great, but at least we had it for the record. And I kept them, the 156, and I kept them in the archives. How well did they transpose to tape? Aha. Uh-huh. That's what I want to get into. So, uh, being that this is the 50th anniversary, but not only that, people always came up to me on the street, Larry, and said to me, youngsters, even the old, old folk, older folks, they say, you've never run the, rerun the Texaco shows. All I could say to them is we couldn't because they were on kinescope and tape did not come in until 1954. Right. And this is for...